Well, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Uh, it's Thanksgiving morning. I don't know, 7.15. I got up a little early, but not early enough to deer hunt. Um, had a rough work week. Um, we had a storm come through, and uh, I tell you what, working out in the driving rain, trying to fix equipment will really take some, some energy out of you. So I've got something special coming for this. We'll uh we'll look at it when it gets here. But um I told my mom not to get me nothing for my birthday, so here's my belated birthday from my mom. Um I got me a training system. Um I had done my research and I get those nightlight magazines. Um nightlights got some pretty good stuff. Um I did a bunch of research on stuff, and uh, this is the Sport Pro. Um, let's see. Uh, up to three dogs, ten levels of intensity, three-quarter mile range, um, and it has a bark collar feature. So I've been reading the instructions, and I'm not the best person with reading comprehension, but... You go from page 4 to page 9 to page 12, back to page 9, back to page 4, and it tells you how to make it into a bark collar, and there's two different ways you can do it. So, I've only got one dog that I have trouble with barking in the kennel, or in the dog box on the way to hunt, and that's Cooper. So the bark function is going to come in real handy. Um, Rebel is already tone-tuned. I've just never had a collar that does it. Um, Cooper is halfway tone tuned because when he was younger, I kept getting collars, uh, to keep him from barking and they were little cheapies and it has a tone and a buzz and a shock feature. And I have worn out three of those collars on him. So he knows tone, buzz and shock and he knows what comes after tone. Um, and little Jeannie, I really don't have a problem with either though, uh, e even though, when I've taken her hunting, of course, she's only been out five or six times. She runs real good. She'll kind of keep up with uh, Cooper, but she comes right back to the side-by-side -side and wants to lay down in the front seat, which I got to get her to quit doing. And, of course, digging in the damn yard. Um, but then when it's time to go, she wants to run around and play. So... If we're on a hunt and on a time limit, I really don't need her to be running around for 30 minutes before she decides she's ready to get in the dog box. So this is going to help. So I've got, uh, and I, I can't remember what system it is, but I've bought a, a, sister, a system with, I think, three collars. I don't have it yet from a guy at work. He's supposed to bring it to me this coming week because he's been off this entire week for Thanksgiving. But I'm going to do a package deal. I'm going to sell my Garmin Astro. 220 um it's been a good system for me um everything on it works other than the screen is a little bit fuzzy and i just rub a little wd-40 on it so i can see it so it's it's a little bit greasy but the wd seems to clear the screen up enough so you can read it um and i've got one collar um and i've got the charger for the collar um th the system's been great it really has but um, it's time for me to upgrade and I want to get the Dogtra. So I want to do a package deal. Anybody that wants it, um, if you know of somebody, shoot me a message or something. I'm going to let the Astro and the one collar and the charger and then that other training system I'm getting. Um, and when I get it, I'm going to test everything, make sure everything works. Um, I want to let it go as a package deal. Um, and I'll find out more about the other training system when I get it. Um... But if you know of anybody, uh, you're interested, shoot me a message. I'll shoot you a package deal on everything. Um, I, I, it's, it's time for me to upgrade. I've had the, the Garmin now for, I think, four years. It's been great to me. Um, but like I said, it's a little time to upgrade. So uh, we're going to run out here and check these feeders that I put up. And uh, Jenny, you quit digging. I'm tired of filling your holes. Better quit digging. Um, 
And I had taken them to the vet the other day and found out Cooper's got a nasty ear infection, so he's getting ear flush and drops and everything twice a day, and that'll take its toll on you when you work 12-hour shifts. Uh, we're going to walk down here and check our feeders because I, I don't think I've checked them since I put them up and uh, see if anything's eaten out of them. If they have, we'll put some more feed in them. Um, heard a few gunshots this morning when I was out here feeding dogs. Um, been seeing quite a few does run through the woods here. Um, it's kind of hard for me to hunt out the backyard. I mean, I can. I know the neighbors wouldn't care. I don't really know the people that live over here. Um, I don't know if they're, you know, keen on stuff like that. The lady that lives beside me don't care. Um, and most of my other neighbors don't care. Uh, the people down the road shoot guns all the time. Um, I just don't know about these folks. Of course, so this is the neighbor's property that lives here. Straight behind me, there's four acres that somebody owns that lives in New Jersey. The property over there is quite a bit of free land and there's no houses, no nothing. It's just bean fields and they've been cut. And of course, I've got my neighbor to the right, but their property ends at the back of mine. So if I set something up, as long as I shoot that away, I ain't shooting towards nothing. There's no houses, no nothing. And like I said, it's almost three miles to the, uh, to the highway. So I have shot a deer back here before. Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, well, nothing's eating out of that one. Huh. Well, let's uh, let's spread some corn around for somebody to find. There we go. Put a little corn on the ground, a little corn on the pedestal. Let's check out the other one. <laughs> You know, and, and like I'd said in a different video, I have not been able to catch a coon. Um, they're usually all over this place, and of course I work third shift, so when I leave here, I leave the house about 6.30, it's good and dark. There's coons crossing the road. And I don't know where they're going, but they ain't coming towards my house. I guess they done told their friends that I got coon dogs. Um, I know there's some coons back up in here. Um, that one little training video, I, well, wasn't a training video, but I was running Cooper. It didn't turn out good. I was back here looking for my neighbor's dogs and around in this section here, there's a little creek that runs way back and there were some coons down in this creek. Well, later I had come back and got Cooper and, and that's along where we were walking when he headed towards the neighbors and I had to go get him, um, cause they started yelling at me. Um, so I know there's coons back here. Um, we're going to check this other feeder. Man, it sure would have been a good morning to deer hunt. I got a couple deer stands set up. I just got to get over there and sit in them. So that's the corn out of the back of my truck where I parked that night. And nothing's eating out of this one either. Well, I'd be damned. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll just spread some corn. There we go. We'll put some on the ground for the deers. And, uh, maybe something will find that. Well, ain't nothing ate out the feeders yet. And, uh, there's the neighbor's dog. Hey, what y'all doing over here? Y'all are supposed to be way over there. Come on, y'all. Come on. What, what, what are y'all doing? Who keeps digging out? Huh? All right. Let me call my neighbor and see what I can do about rounding these things up. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving, boys. I'm going to go chase more dogs because that's what neighbors do. And uh, when I get that special piece in for the Cummins, we'll shoot a little video of that. But for now, Deuces.